you need to be careful and make sure which you're selecting. Here we're going to go with the default database, the Expression Engine database. When you are creating your profiles and adding your backlinks, it's dependent on which type of database you're using, what type of coding language you use to code your backlink, your HTML links. I go over that more in more detail in another video, so for now we'll just use this database. Now if you'd like to use a different database, you can use a little drop down menu here and you can get new databases sorry wrong button from under help release database and you can come up here select all forums if you want or one of the individual forums you want to download for download and it will download any additional databases that are available or you can also get a lot of databases on our forum and if you haven't signed up there yet, make sure to do that, juggernutsofts.com. So if I had downloaded one from our forum, to put it in there, you'd want to click this button. This will open the folder where all the databases are located. And then you can drag the file from wherever. Mine's on my desktop out of the screen here. So I'm going to drag it up in here and just drop it in here. So here's my example database that I downloaded as an example from our website, from the forum. And you can close that and then go back here and you can see you can see that it isn't listed here yet because what you need to do is hit the refresh button. Now you should be able to select it. So here's the example database I just showed you loading. Next we have proxies. You don't need to use any proxies right now. Uh, it can be time consuming and it's not necessary but if you'd like to this is where you could input more proxies under manage proxies but we're going to skip that for now. Next is thread settings. Uh, the max threads is basically the number of different tasks that Venom SEO will do at one time. So this would register on 16 different sites at once. Uh, you might want to start on the lower end, 10, 20, or maybe 30 threads at a time. See how quick your computer is processing, and if it seems too slow, keep it you know, in that range. But you could go all the way up to 50 or even 100 uh, threads per at a time. So just test out what your computer is capable of. The program runs pretty quick, so you should probably be able to get a lot of threads out at once. Thread timeout is basically the amount of time that one of the threads will try to get some information back from the website where it's trying to register and if it doesn't get what it needs or perform what it needs within 120 seconds then it will go on to the next website to register and max failed retries is for instance if you're registering an account or something and uh, or trying to find the link on the website where it would go to register if within five tries it can't register it just moves on to the next link 